Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the third topic under computer system organization that is I.O. structure. So here, I.O. it is nothing but input output structure of a computer. And if you are considering the storage part in the sense, it is one of many types of devices within the computer. And if you are considering the overview of input output devices, a general purpose computer system consists of CPUs and multiple device controllers. So, for every device, it will have a device driver. For example, disk will have a device controller, input output devices will have USB controller and monitors will have graphics adapter. Okay. Likewise, with the CPU and multiple device controllers, they are connected through a common system bus. Okay. These devices, everything will be connected to a common system bus. Already we have seen in the computer system operation how the CPU and many device controllers and the memory is connected through the system bus. Okay. So, the CPU and multiple device controllers will be connected through a common system bus in order to access the memory. And each device controller if you are considering in the sense, it is in charge of a specific type of device. So, depending upon the controller, more than one device will be attached. For example, if you are considering the small computer system interface controller, seven devices, seven or more devices will be connected. So, depending upon the controller, we can able to attach many devices. So, in small computer system interface controller, seven or more devices will be attached. And a device controller, if you are considering in the sense, it will maintain a local buffer storage and a set of special purpose registers. So, here the responsibility of device controller is moving the data between the peripheral devices which it controls it and its local buffer storage. Generally, operating system will also have a device driver for each device controller in order to provide the uniform interface to the devices. And how the I.O. operation is performed in a computer in the sense, first the device driver will load the appropriate registers within the device controller. Then the device controller will examine the contents of these registers, whether it is an input data read from keyboard or from mouse or from monitor or it is an output data. Likewise, the device controller will examine the register contents. Once the device controller examines its contents, then it will start the transfer of data from the device to its local buffer. Once the data transfer is complete, the device controller will inform the device driver via interrupt. Okay, once the data transfer is completed in the sense, the device controller will raise an interrupt to the device driver. That is, data is transferred. This information, it will pass it to the device driver. Then, the device driver will return control to the operating system. So, for other operations and all, the device driver will return the status information. Okay, so this is all about I.O. operation. First, the device driver will load its appropriate registers. Then, it will examine the register contents, what type of data it is. Then, it will start transfer the data to its local buffer. Then, once the transfer is completed through the interrupt, it will return, it will inform to the device driver that the data transfer is completed. And then, the device driver will return control to the operating system. Okay, and apart from these informations, any other information in the sense, it will raise a status information. Okay, it will give a status information. So, this is all about I.O. operation. So, if you are considering this I.O. operation that is implementing all these steps, it is okay for small amount of data transfer. It won't create any overhead. But when you want to transfer a bulk data storage in the sense, in that case, these steps and all, if you are following in the sense, it is a overhead to the computer because most of the time will be occupied for this data transfer only. So, we cannot able to use the computer efficiently. So, in that case, we can go for direct memory access. So, what do you mean by direct memory access in the sense? Whenever a task needs to be performed within the system in the sense, initially the buffers, pointers and counters for the I.O. devices will be set up. Okay. Once it is set up, the device controller will transfer an entire block of data directly to or from its own buffer storage to memory without the intervention of the CPU. Not like this. Here, we need to get permission from the CPU. Okay, then only we can able to implement the data transfer. For small data transfer, it is okay. For bulk transfer and all, the device controller will transfer an entire block of data directly to and fro from the memory. 
without the intervention of the CPU. That is called direct memory access. And here only one interrupt is generated per block. Okay. So, to intimate to the device driver that the operation is completed. Just, just only one interrupt will be raised per block of data transfer. Okay. So that here in direct memory access, device controller all the time it is not required and CPU is not required, okay. So the device controller will perform all these operations without the intervention of the CPU. So that CPU will be used for other fruitful works, okay. And if you are considering the high-end systems, they will use switches rather than bus architecture. On these systems, multiple components can talk to other components concurrently at a time so that they won't compete for memory cycles on a shared bus. In this case, this direct memory access is even more effective in higher end systems. So, this is a typical picture how a modern computer system works with direct memory access. So, here if you are considering this is the CPU and these are all the devices and this is the memory. So, whenever we want to perform any task in the sense, first thing is IO request will be raised to the corresponding device. Okay. Then, once the I.O. request is raised in the sense, the required buffers, pointers and counters for this I.O. device will be initialized. That is, setup will be done for this buffers, pointers and counters. So, once that initialization is done, the data will be transferred from to and fro from CPU and to the device. Okay. CPU will give permission to transfer the data. The required programs, the required data and instructions can be accessed. Likewise, CPU will give permission. So, once the permission is granted in the sense, the device will access the memory directly. This is called direct memory access. The data will be transferred to and fro from main memory and to the device drivers automatically without the intervention of the CPU. That is called direct memory access. And whenever the CPU want to access the main memory, the instruction and execution cycle, it will happen. And data also, it will be transferred between CPU and main memory. But whenever these device controllers want to access the data or send the data, that is a bulk quantity of data, okay. In that case only, bulk data transfer only, we can able to implement direct memory access. For simple transfer and all, with the intervention of the CPU only, it can be able to execute it. We can able to execute with the CPU only. Okay, for bulk data in the sense, in that case, we can go for direct memory access so that the computer system is used efficiently. So, in this way only, the modern computer system will work. Without the DMA in the sense, every time we have to get the CPU permission and every time the CPU has to grant permission, then only we can able to implement the data transfer. So, the CPU is utilized totally during the transfer. CPU cannot able to perform other operations. But, in case of direct memory access, without the intervention of the CPU, the device controller can send and access the data directly to the main memory. That is possible. And it is fast also to send and receive a large amount of data. So, this is the typical input-output operation how it is implemented. So, this is all about I.O. structure. Thank you for watching this video.